Hello from Amalfi. This is the last part of our honeymoon. But before we continue on, make sure to subscribe to my channel and click on that bell button so you're always notified whenever I have new videos. Our rental to go from Naples to Amalfi. Brand new car again. Yeah. This time an Audi. Yeah. We have a car. Now off to look for our car. So you just have to follow the numbers. Yanni says we got a new car. May 19th, sir. Oh, we have someone to assist us. We found our car. Looks brand spanking okay. new. And seems like this will fit more of our stuff. So freaking heavy. Because we've got six bottles of wine. That's why. Wine isn't <laughs> it's wine for sure. Yeah. I mean, is your exercise for all the pizza you're about to eat? That's yes. That's a lot. All in. Is it gonna close? Yes. One more bag here, and we're ready to go. But we're here about to check into our hotel over there. Welcome drinks as we wait for our room and look at the view from our hotel. Awesome. So we just got upgraded to a junior suite because it's our honeymoon and it's amazing. It's got the best view ever. So this is our view guys. <gasps> look at our view. My goodness. I love it. So this hotel that we're staying at, it's called NH Collection Grand Hotel something. But basically, it used to be an old convent. And that is why there's still those ruins. And it still has a very weird hotel layout. They really worked with like how the existing structure is laid out. But it's really, really nice. I just, I just don't think I'm brave enough to be left alone in the dark. So I will cling onto the Joba. <laughs> We finally found the restaurant. Ooh, El Teatro. Finally. Ooh so it's a really cute restaurant. It looks like it's run by a like one family, which is the best kind of restaurant. Like that's one of my favorites when it comes to like Italian restaurants when it's run by a legit like one big happy family. And it's the main madam also in the house today. She's roaming around. How old is she? Seventy. Yeah, she speaks like zero English, but she has her daughter and her son. Can't sleep. So cute. Thank you. We have our bread over here for us starving people. This is our lunch and dinner. At what time? Seven. Eight. It's eight now. Okay. <laughs> he finally gets his pizza. I got bongole. Yum. It's been so long since I've got bongole because all bongole in the Philippines usually have shrimp. Yes, yes, yes. So Yanni just told me that Norwegian seamen eat mussels like this. Seamen in general. Seamen in general. So you eat one first, mm -hmm. and then after you have eaten the one, you start using that as the. Oh. Oh. Slug face. So because we don't have reflectors, and Madame is scared we're getting run over, she's been flashing the light of 
dropped a bone the entire way, like it's a disco ball. Tux, 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 tux. And then every now and then I hear a shouting, oh no, it's too close, it's too close. Is it really too close, okay? Tux, 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 tux. Good morning, it's a beautiful day today. Weather is perfect. It's sunny, it's not so hot, it's not so cold. And we're having breakfast by the terrace. Well, not anymore. <laughs> it's already done. But we're here again. And Yanni is about to get us some bubbly. The bubbly has arrived. Cheers. And good morning. This one drunk art vlog what we are creating here. So all the kids there don't do this. It's not healthy and uh, you shouldn't be drinking at all. <laughs> <laughs> well, grabe yung at all. Ni naman, if you're off age, then it's fine. But always drink in moderation, as the commercials would say. We've just seen the biggest lemon of our lives, girl. It's as big as someone's head. My God, it's a monster lemon. What do they feed lemons here? How do they grow lemons? <laughs> Oh my god, what is in the air of Amalfi? Yeah, I get a lemon. A slice of lemon to my beer. <laughs> We've just ridden the boat. Apparently yesterday, and thank you so much Joe Advisor. So apparently yesterday and today is a bank holiday, which is why it's exceptionally traffic around the Amalfi Coast. We were advised by our concierge that we shouldn't be driving or else we'll be stuck in traffic. So we decided to take a boat instead, the Travel Mar boat, which goes from Amalfi to Minori and Mayori. And one ticket is just three euros, so it's super duper affordable. And we've arrived in Minori. In we don't know yet. Food. Yes, we must get food. <laughs> so we found the right here. It's called Berdinello. So apparently, after research that Yanni and I have done zero research, Minori Pala is famous for its pasta, which is why we're trying out pasta. Compliments of the restaurant, Limoncello, the official Kokoro wedding drink, Kaano Lai. Cheers! So now we're done with lunch here in Minari and we're walking to Mayori now which is around like 1.4 kilometers away from Minori so it's a thing here you walk in these streets that is sort of giving my Asian heart a heart attack nervous that a car will hit us but apparently people do this so we're gonna do this do you see Mayori over there? We're getting close. So this is one of the beachier towns. One bottle a day keeps the doctor away. <laughs> So we went inside the pet shop because we're really missing Pen Pen. And we met a new friend. Bye, friend. I miss Pen Pen. I miss Penny. Do you miss Penny? Penny. We miss Penny. And Pepper as well, of course. But we predict that Pepper will probably pee when she sees us because she usually pees out of excitement. Penny will probably do a lot of 360 degree jumps. jumps. <laughs> that was a demonstration of how we predict Penny will greet us. What are your last words for Mayori? Someday. So this has been the situation so far. Traffic in Amalfi. I'm so happy that our NH Amalfi Hotel told us not to drive today because it's insane. Parang Ed Salang. Now off to dinner we go. So if you're wondering where I get my food suggestions, usually the one I trust the most is Culture Trip. And this is part of the Culture Trip list. Oh, it's got a lot of Michelin Guide stickers. Or is it just a No, it's just a guide. We got the prime table here. 
without reservation, but it has to be empty by 8.30. That's already our sleeping time anyway, so we have no problem. Shh, don't tell them! Don't tell them! We're pretending we're living the life! <laughs> Yum. Yum. <laughs> so this is what happens when she gets coffee and sugar in the morning. There's no music. It's all in your head. Music is everywhere. Sorry you married this. So our boat to Positano is there and that is where we're staying, you can see it. And if you zoom in, you'll see which room is ours because it's the only one with the square. <laughs> the one with the square box, that's where our swing chairs are. You see? Right there. Bye bye, off to Positano for the day. And we finally arrived. So Positano looks like it's the busiest out of all the towns here in Amalfi Coast. We were supposed to actually stay here in Positano. We already pre-booked a hotel at first, but it was still free cancellation. And my sister was telling me that she got to visit this place a few days before me. And she told me that she doesn't think I'll like it because it's too crowded, everything's overpriced. So it would be nice to just come here for a day. So that's why we decided to just stay in Amalfi instead. And now that we're here, we're just here for like five minutes and I could already see, I could already imagine the crowds. So many people. So much people. This is how crowded it is. There's actually traffic. <laughs> he is not happy. My goodness gracious. So this is what you don't see on Instagram. People keep showing you photos of the pretty Positana views. They don't show you this. And it's not even peak season yet. This is springtime. It's early spring. If you come here summer, which is the peak, then good luck. Good luck. Yes, you're not gonna move. Dessert time with limoncello as per usual. Mine is better than yours. Like me, beside that. Is it? I knew it. Now you. Why did I do this to myself? Always happens. Big change into my swimsuit because we're off to a boat tour with Blue Star Positano, which is why I'm ready. Found it! Our boat is here and it's so pretty. It is a beauty. So nice. Love the color. Cherasella, which means the little cherry, because my favorite color is red. Cherasella. Yeah. Oh, I said it good. Yeah. <laughs> One of the pretty towns here along Amalfi Coast. Our captain Massimo tells us that that house over there is Sophia Loren's house and when she used to live there she built this wheel thingy so that she can be wheeled up to the road oh di ba? bonga but now the new owner arrives by helicopter which is even more bonga pak na pak <laughs> pak na pak pak we're leaving our beautiful boat and our captain Massimo who's awesome bye <laughs> so sad it's over. It's one of the best ways to really explore the Amalfi Coast mm, by after, far. right? By far. You see all the islands when you go around all and the base and uh, the base I mean. And then you also get to see like the green cave if you wanna go inside it. They just bring you there and then it's just like you just transfer to a smaller boat for five euros and then they wait for you after your tour and then you continue on with your Blue Star Positano tour which goes from Positano to Amalfi. I think they also go to Capri and it's awesome because when you book with them they already have like free drinks like beer, prosecco, wine, water, 
everything and the boats are all so clean because you guys know I lived in a yacht for a week right for Croatia's yacht week and I've never seen a cleaner boat toilet ever than that like it smells so good and yeah and the captain they the scents there. yeah they have the scents so you know this Tita likes her scents <laughs> and the captain is super duper nice he's the one who explains to you everything like he explains all the different houses and hotels that you pass through in the different bays it's awesome. It's a really nice experience for us, especially because it's our honeymoon. But it's a nice way to end our Amalfi trip. Right? I like my new purchase. They're super duper cute. They are. Yoda beside me agrees. I bought them from Lefty, which is one of the stores that I used to shop at when I was still doing my JTA, New Term Abroad, or like foreign exchange program in France. Lefty is like a really 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 affordable store and I really remember before I used to think it was like an overrun of like a Zara store because I kid you not I was able to buy a top there that had a Zara tag that was cut off but now I think they have their own stuff and it's again super duper affordable so I went in when we saw it in Portugal and I bought this baby everything there is super duper super duper affordable that's a helpful tip from it's Camille Co. So we came home really early and I went here because I wanted to change into my pajamas where I left my pajamas. Yesterday, I left it mistakenly here, all wrapped up. So our helpful housekeeping service laid it out there perfectly. And now that I felt embarrassed because I left it there yesterday, I hung it there really, really neatly. And now I come home and I've been looking through everything. My pajamas are... Where did you find it? Where did she put it now? Where was it? Luckily, they didn't answer yet. <laughs> Where did they put it? On the bed. Oh, helpfully again. Yeah. Helpfully folded on the bed again. No, it was under the pillow. <laughs> under the pillow. Helpfully hidden now. Tomorrow night, I shall update you where I will find my pajamas. <laughs> Because of last night's debacle, I decided to put my pajamas there. This is a test for our housekeeper. If she will put it back on the bed, I will report back to you by the end of the day. Good morning! So we're off to do a road trip to Ravello. 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 <laughs> so they say they've got a lot of really nice villas there. It's not a coastal town, right? It's up, up on the mountains. Hopefully it's not so traffic today. Yesterday, the traffic was still a bit insane. Not naman so insane, but apparently pala, like it's a long holiday week, that's why there's so much people because even the locals are around the Amalfi Coast. Buongiorno! Welcome, Welcome to, to Ravello. Ravello! Here on the left, I we see, see mm -hmm. the Duomo of Ravello. Huh? It was built on the 1500s. Are you sure? The original. Okay, this is an invention of his. <laughs> it was made behind the walls with uh, safeguarded. Uh, Discovery the... Channel, please discover this new travel show host. That's it. Not a very good travel show host, okay. this one. And then uh, <laughs> only these two squares used to be a marketplace. So we just saw a lot of walls around selling organic. Organic! In the 15th there was century! No, there were no pesticides in the 15th century, uh -huh. so everything was organic. I see. Very healthy uh -huh. and uh, also very delicious. Wow. So okay, this cut, is an origin cut. of oh, Arabella okay, pizza. Ah, oh, this is Arabella oh, pizza. <laughs> I married the creative man. Not so much. So in here, we see the heads of crocodiles. Okay. The crocodiles were swimming around the, the walls going the, mm, the water mm. obstacle. Uh -huh. so it was filled with crocodiles. Ah, the there used castle. to be a river around the castle. The, and uh -huh, okay. <laughs> Okay, moving on to non-fake news. This is Villa Rufolo. So this is one of the famous villas that people come to Ravella to visit. So it used to be something else. <laughs> I just told you it. Okay, we're now going to find out what Villa Rufolo used to be. You don't want to pay? You have to support this, you know, the maintenance. That's why you pay. I don't know. We're going to find out. Expensive. <laughs> Better be good. Oh, it's a crocodile. <laughs> Welcome to Villa de Porto, which was named by the original family who built it. During okay, this is real news now. During its height in the 13th century, it had more Ito, rooms Ito, okay. than uh, there are days in a year. Mm -hmm. So it had already 400 rooms during that time. But wow. then it has eroded over the years. Mm -hmm. It's much smaller now than what it used to be during its core. Okay, cut. That's an OTD first here, Joa. <laughs> OTD.
but apparently the tour guide has been replaced. Yes, okay, so now we're back inside the villa. So this used to be... A bullfighting arena? No, this used to be where the courtship begins. Courtship? So we chase around the... <laughs> Show me how. <laughs> and then... Once the courtship has been approved, we will then go to the second floor. To do what? To get to know each other. Matka oli pitkä niin Pyysivät he mukaan yhden toverin Hei! if it's Cimbrone or Cimbrone. This is beautiful gardens of Villa Cimbrone or Cimbrone. Shall we proceed? We shall. But first, where do I photo spot? There, madam. Keep going. Having a moment with it. <laughs> what will I do if it jumps on me? Oi! <laughs> My king, show me your purse. Work your purse. It's made of phoenix We're back and my pajamas are here. For the first time, it was not moved. Oh yeah, maybe it's during the turn down. I will see, I will check back later. Off to lunch we go. Finally at 2.30 p.m. Are you hungry? Super duper. We changed the comfy clothes because since it's our last full day here in Amalfi Coast, we plan to just drink and dine the day away. So first time during this trip, she can actually walk. Walk? Work it, work it, strut it. Watch out. <laughs> Ankle Pamor. Today we feast. Of course, Yanni has to have his pizza as usual. And of course, we have our wine as usual. <laughs> Yanni usually gets white heads around his chin area. And I've always pleaded with him to let me pop the white heads. And I did pop one here and one here. So beautifully done. No bruises, no wounds. You're welcome. Thank you, Dr. Koro. Nice doing business with you. I love it. Thank you for letting me pop them. Hee hee. My happiness. There's no med school in Harvard. I mean, for pre-med. And then I then went on to my residency at University of Santo Tomas Hospital. And then now I have a clinic in St. And soon I'm gonna open in Alabama. Okay. What's the clinic called? It is Dr. Koro Pop Master. Pop Master? But thank you so much for watching. This is the end of our Kokoro honeymoon. Oops, too much weight. Too much pizza. <laughs> it's such a good chill honeymoon. I think this is the. It's a good end to our honeymoon because it's just us lazing around the Amalfi Coast. Yeah, but it's been a good uh, honeymoon throughout. It's, it hasn't been too hectic. 
and I think that's what we needed. Just take it easy. Yeah, do just, whatever. If yeah. it's raining, it's raining. Do something else. Yeah, you know, no pressure. Mm. You don't have to wake up so early. You don't have to do this. You don't have to do that. If we get to see this, then okay. If we don't, then okay. What matters is we're together. Mm. <laughs> so long, farewell. See you on our next vlog. See you in Manila. See you guys in Manila. We out. Oh, please make sure to leave a comment below and like this video if you liked it. If you don't like it, like it still. So yeah, don't dislike. Don't us. be bitter. <laughs>